Welcome back to the adventures of Priscilla Erinez, the, the, the gold hoarder, the banker of all of the world with her 28,000 gold. I saw a comment on yesterday that's like, why bother waiting for the garden to upgrade? Just build a new garden. And honestly, that's a great idea. You never know. It might, might make the event trigger sooner, better, faster. I don't know. Let's stick down a second one, um, especially if we are sticking around with the Hermetic Society for a while as well. Let's put down, should we just put down a whole bunch of wonders? I do want more aqueducts though. Um, okay, maybe a couple more aqueducts. Oh god, they're $13,000 dues a piece. Holy shit. Um, well, I guess we could put down a couple more near the capsule, but then after that, I think we'll probably call it for the aqueducts because those are uh, getting a little bit ridiculous. They're getting a little bit, little bit insane. Uh, yeah, that seems... I made the message. Put down another one there. There we go. And that should be enough mortality to last a while. Two fountain of youth and a whole bunch of aqueducts draining the life out of all the civilians of the world. And that still gives us 6,000 gold to spare. So, um, I don't know. What should we build over here then? Uh, so, the cheapest one we can build is... Oh, we actually can't build any right now. I probably want to save up. Oh, we could build a market cross, but that, that increases local tax and greatly aid the economy. We should build that over in like... Oh, one of these we put a... Right, I remember now. All right, never mind. Um, why don't we put one down in like... We get the bonuses from it regardless, but I'm kind of tempted to wait for maybe a Grand Fortress, Grand Cathedral. Doesn't really seem on brand with the campaign. Uh, Great Harbor. Great Harbor would be a good idea. Gives a whole bunch of... Give us a whole bunch of boats. It doesn't matter too much. Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll see what fancy wonders we've got as we go along closer to the time today. Uh, oh, I remember what happened yesterday. Today, we're trying to become corrupt. And we are, we're trying to fall to the dark side a little bit. We, we've sort of gone that direction with our whole mystic study, studying the Necronomicon, whatever else. We, we've made some good steps, but I just can't seem to corrupt this character. We've had no events where we've been able to pick any sort of sin. It's really, we just got unlucky. So we're going to host the world's biggest party, the world's biggest orgy, in the hopes that we can become lostful and celibate i don't know if you can um might become a, a, a drinker don't know if drunkard counts as, as far as i recall drunkard is not a sin um might give us greedy or gluttonous though and i don't know let's hope that we can flip her over to the satanic society and then give her the demon babby now there apparently is a 50 it's only a 50 50 percent chance that the demon babby will be a demon babby otherwise it would just be a babby fathered by a demon so oh this is good. I've contemplated hosting some of my colleagues from the Hermetic Society for an intellectual gathering. Is this not the one whereby you design a... Yes, I won't be a great trip to me. Is this the one where you you, you design a, a an artifact, isn't it? So either the you make up, what is it, a gun, a blast furnace, or a... Like a compass or something like that? I honestly don't remember, but hey, well, um, we'll, we'll see how it do. This is the only other reason I would stick part of the Hermetic Society as it is right now, just to try and get that. So... I don't know if this is it, though. I don't know if this is the event or whether this is, like, the grand debate or something. Oh, no, it is. To the esteemed Maga, Erinez. Yet again, Major? That's probably Major, isn't it? Yet again, I must thank you for your generous invitation. A gathering of such great minds, such a fine idea. However, I have one small suggestion. I would be delighted if you invite Initiate Huatsen. His indisputable brilliance would be a fine addition to our gathering. I did have in mind, but you see... Do, why do we not want to invite him? Um, I mean, I haven't got a problem with inviting him. Uh... I did have in mind, but you see, yeah, we'll cancel it. We'll cancel it, because I think we have to go on a vote, don't we, for what we have to build. Now, here's another thing as well. Speaking of our distant family members over in Spain, you guys point this out. I completely ignored it yesterday. I'd absolutely... Oh, hang on. We get diplomacy from this. Bear with me. Boom. Diplomacy. Yeah, we actually got it, too. That's so cool. Um, oh, it is the event. This is great. So, yesterday, I didn't even notice, but our character, Harpy, our Aunt Harpy that we sent over to Spain to rule as a kingdom, got beatified, which is one step from becoming... So, she's not a full-blown saint, uh, but she is, she's on her way. She could potentially be sainted, as I recall, but I think we'd have found out that by now. It's kind of cool, though, huh? That's, that's really, really cool that she got that, uh, that, she, that she got that going for her. I was just seeing if she got some bloodline for it, but I guess it's just when you become a full-blown saint. So... Do we invent a machine of war? Do we improve the prosperity of our lands? Or do we try and understand the universe? Well, I know that there are some unique events surrounding all of them, but I think, in my opinion, the fun one is the the the, the machine of war, which I don't think we've done before. We've done the blast furnace. I think we've done the compass as well. So I'm going to go for this one. I'm going to go for the machine of war. Well, as I entered the laboratory one morning, I met by agitated voices, Magus Christopher and Magus Hadriana, so gesturing wildly over a set of sketches. Uh, do we go for the riskier but more innovative option? Absolutely, we do. Our character has 42 learning. She is absolutely going to be able to solve any problems you throw at her. I'm trying to focus on my working, but it's becoming increasingly difficult. Christopher and Jacob would never agree on anything. Listen to me, friends. Surely this in between you is a misunderstanding. 74%. Uh, we can kick out Christopher or we kick out Jacko. Let's go for trying to keep them both on board. Come on. Hey, there we go. We can continue without interruption. Oh my god, we might actually succeed as well. It generally tends to be quite a difficult event, but I guess when you've got a character with 42 martial arts, it's a little, a little easier. Here we go. We've built... Oh my god, it's not the gun. 
Oh, that's cool. The arrow's arrived. I didn't realize there were multiple outcomes. I thought it was just a guaranteed, like, blast on his gun or other one. The arrow has finally arrived. Today we test our invention. We have devised a huge crush but Oh, no. Fucking, you're on Greyjoy flashbacks. We have devised a huge crossbow, which launches large stones. Oh, that's fine. While the weapon is certainly deadly, it's also incredibly intimidating. I have one mounted to the wards of Abu Kir. Oh, where's Abu Kir? Is that our capital? Yeah, it is. Cool. Only the bravest and most fool foolish soldiers would dare crossing its trajectory. We gain gigantic crossbow. Oh, it's shit. Giving monthly prestige plus 5%. Oh, 5% is quite nice. Um... Siege defense plus 25%. No one was going to ever siege down our walls anyway. 50 military tech points, 200 esoteric lodge. I wanted the gun, damn it. That would have been so much cooler because if you find a jewel, so, so one of the outcomes of that is a, a, it's literally a handgun. If you fight a jewel with it, there's just a button very sort of Indiana Jones style where you can just shoot him dead instantly. It's really, really fun. Um, unfortunately, we got a crossbow, which is still cool, but, oh, well, I guess like a scorpion sort of... Um, I don't know exactly what it's supposed to be, but there we go. It, it's not bad, regardless. It's not terrible. But, I, I mean, it might fight off the Aztecs if they're getting a big enough horde, but I'm pretty sure we could get a bigger horde at this stage. So, we just... Oh, she gained plus two learning. Our apprentice graduated. Right, okay. Let's take on a new one, then. Um, let's make sure that we are set up with, with all of our minor tiles and whatever else. I haven't done that. I normally do that between episodes. Okay. So, then. How do we corrupt our character? Because that carousing still hasn't made much of a dent in things. I guess we could try and do more carousing. Just keep carousing until... Uh... Carousing. Yes, we can do more carousing. Okay, I just wanted to double check there. I'll go ahead and invite everybody carousing again. And hopefully, if we keep doing this, we'll become a uh, hedonist or something along those lines. Yes, excellent. Okay, so normally, if I wanted to corrupt a character, you just take the business focus till he got greedy, right? Um, but, of course, we're playing with my additional r restrictions on the focuses, which stops us from building whatever character we feel like. And this is obviously part of the challenge right now, is that we're... Oh, a Jewish revolt. That was unexpected. Um... This is, so, th so this is adding to the challenge, you know, adding to the difficulty a little bit. Otherwise, it's very, very easy to turn a character into a sinner, at least in my opinion. Theod where is this? What? The Theodosia, you kind of assume would be. Where, where is this? Excuse me. Where, where are you? Oh, good. Okay. Um, I don't know that I can be bothered. What happens if they win? <laughs> they they gain the Duchy of Cherson. I'm fine with that because I didn't want it anyway. Oh, but it's got to be... Why can't I just surrender to you? I wanted to get rid of this stuff, but the current ruler of Cherson is 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 also also has part of, of Greece there. So I wanted to get rid of it because we're constantly being raided and losing a load of gold. And obviously, I don't want to leave an army there to defend it. Oh, god damn it. All right, fine. We'll fight him off. We'll fight him off. That's okay. Plus, we could have eroded our Catholic moral authority, which, of course, is the end game plan. But I guess our character is zealous, so she'd probably try and stop it. Go on, then. Go on, then. You guys do that. Meanwhile, party. We're going to... We're going to... We're going to start a party. Oh, Cathar Revolt as well. Oh, fantastic. Well, at least we got some troops raised. Damn it, my carousing. Do you know how long it took to send all those bloody invites out? Uh, ah, my my dear cousin and sister. Well, that's confusing. Nick to me to step forth with an idea that might pr might invoke the presence of the divine being. Absolutely. Why don't we also try and steal Pandora's box? Because that, I think, if anything, would most likely drive us a little bit nuts. Um, teach us teach us the operation of the gods. Fuck it. Why not? Don't think it really matters either way. Uh, Trench mine. Can't be bothered to infiltrate the laboratory. We're already head of the guild. Why are we doing that? Learning plus three. Hey, that's what we needed. That's what we need. Three more learning to throw into the mix. Right, that should hopefully be the end of it. Oh, we also groomed an heir. Wait. Did we? Oh, our, our, our daughter came of age. Right. She's actually very good. My god, look at her. Brilliant strategist, cavalry leader, baptized by the Pope. Cynical, deceitful, ambitious, chaste, charitable, brave, patient. She's so good. My god, okay. Um, Eren is the second there, and how's Colossus doing? Also doing really well. Brave, patient, gregarious. And then he's got conscience, which can become diligent or temperate. Diligent would be incredible. Idolizer can become zealous or erudite, which would be incredible as well. Haughty is... Ah, uh, shit. Let's not talk about Haughty. Uh, are we done? Sorry, you've got more troops somewhere, huh? What? Where? Well, he's over there? What? Well, he's clearly not, because... Oh, I mean, he could be, I guess. There's no reason why he might not be. Okay, very weird. Um, let's, let's go. I thought that they would specifically target some of our territory, but apparently he's just pissed off somewhere. Why are you running? Why are you running? Where is he gone? He's disappeared into the fog of war again. This is a right ball because we can't carouse until we've dealt with this idiot. There he is. Come on, chase him down. There we go. Thank you, Basilius. Much appreciated. Right, we're done. Okay, now we can go back to our carousing and try and corrupt our character somewhat. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Okay, good. So, let's let's try again. Hopefully, we aren't on cooldown with the carousing because of that. Oh, yeah, we're good. Okay, invite absolutely everybody again. You, come carousing. You, carousing? You up for carousing? Husband, how about some carousing? Fuck me, another uprising is cancelled. Just want to carouse. Come on. This fucking character is going to be dead before I end up doing anything with her. For fuck... This is driving me nuts. This is absolutely insane. All right, never mind. No, you know what? Fuck it. Pick a different one. 
Pick a different forge bloodline, obviously, we've already done, so that's relevant. Um, oh, but we have to pick it. But if we pick it, we've already got the forge. Yeah, it's still broken. I don't know what mod is causing that to break, but that's still broken. We'll just have to take the prestige hit. Um, oh, fuck it, I'm going to pick something else, because this is not... This is pointless. This is absolutely pointless. Intrigue, maybe we could try and murder people. Would that make us sinful? Apparently not. Let's go for theology. Let's go for theology. See if we can become sinful via worshipping the Lord, because this is a waste of time. It's an absolute waste of time. Hold a debate right up there and people... Let's, let's go on a pilgrimage. Hey, that's a good way to become sinful. Great idea. Will you piss off? Thank you. Okay. Please, for the love of God, do not declare war before we can go on a fucking pilgrimage. Otherwise, I'll scream. Okay. Go on a pilgrimage. We need to not be a commander. Right. Okay. Why are we... Why, what are we commanding exactly? Right. Probably right news, I assume. Right. What else do we need? Not busy with other special activities. Oh, right. We're off getting ingredients. Go. Leave. Go and leave and, and do lots of sinful things. We go to Jerusalem. Go to the Holy Land. Come on. Please, for the, give me something here. Oh, we won the grand debate. Great. Great news. Just what I wanted. Come on. 30% 30 chance proud. Come on, come on, come on. Fuck. Okay, well, we missed out on one. Uh, I'll make, make friends far from home. Please. Shit, come on. Uh, Jesus was a Jew, wasn't he? Gain sympathy for the Jewish religions. Muhammad was great. Thank you. Gain sympathy for Muslim religions. Um, doesn't really matter, so I'm just going to take either. Thank you very much. Come on. Give me, give me some sins here, boys. No, we're home. Okay. This is so frustrating because I don't think there's any way... Uh, we're going to run out of time here. Bearing in mind that we've got, we've got to wait six years minimum before we can get up to the rank whereby we can demonical impregnate ourselves however she's 36 so i don't know if you crunch the maths on that we have three years now to become a sinner otherwise it's impossible and then it's another fucking character we have to move on to this is so annoying every time we get close we're cut fucking short um what can i do what can i do to become a sinner immediately in ck2 how 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 we do that fast what options have we got um what if we what if we Hold a, hold a few start of some affair. That's a great idea. Okay. Do those as much as possible. Just get as many events firing as possible in the hopes that some of the outcomes will give us one of those sins. Throw him in prison. I, we just throw a man in prison. Apparently that does not count. Apparently that's fine. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't count as proud or whatever, despite the fact that we just throw a man in prison for mocking us. That's the end of the summer fair. That was a fucking waste of time as well. You know what? I need something to cheer me up. Let's build a triumphal art. Uh, used to commemorate... Uh, triumphal art, did I say? Arc. Used to commemorate prestigious leaders or events such as the founding of new colonies, death of a noble family, or... Yeah, you know what? We deserve one. We just deserve one. Because we're really just a... She's just too good. She's too good a damn Christian. That's not the point of the series. And out of time. We're, we're almost out of time here. I, d I don't know what the hell else we can do. Um, What if we just start murdering random people? This man here? What if we just start murdering random people? Private conversation. Chuck him, chuck him into the ocean. Will that make us a sinner? Will we count as a sinner then? Is that is that enough? To get my dagger out and stab him in the heart. He's dead. We fight each other, but in the end, I prevail. Bury my dagger in his chest. I leave lying on the ground. Okay, ignore that. Don't worry about it. Uh, He's dead. That does not make us a sinner. We are still, as far as the game is concerned, a very good Christian. This makes no fucking sense. I've had about five feasts and about five fucking summer fairs, and there's no way we can corrupt this woman. She's just too perfect a Christian. Damn you. Damn you. Okay, um... Perform scrying. Maybe it'll drive him mad. Crush, n crush nettles, fine. Bad omen, whatever. Um... Just a medic art is not really gonna help either. What can I do? Must be a sinner. I mean... God damn, this is so... This is so annoying. Pandora's box. I mean, it's gotta be. It's gotta be Pandora's box, isn't it? Right, there he is. Steel artifact. Give me that. Just just give me it, okay? Just give me Pandora's box right now. Who should we take with us? Uh, 34 Marshall. Yeah, absolutely. We've got the intrigue. He's got the Marshall. We are gonna get it. Then I'm gonna open it up, and it's gonna make us into the world's greatest sinner. You watch. Force my way inside. 84% chance of success. Boom. 79% chance of success with our hermetic knowledge. Now we've got a 74% chance of stealing Pandora's box. We've goddamn succeeded. Yeah, you're right. You owe me this one, game. Okay. Now. Ho, ho, ho. Let's crack open a crack open a couple with the boys. Unleash pandemonium. Yes. Do it. End the earth. Uh <gasps> Against the wishes of the entire council you decide to open Pandora's box, a wave of dread washes over the room as you soon open it, followed by warmth. You feel sick then. You feel sick, then well. You caught laughs, then cries. Nothing makes sense. The fate of the realm is unknown. Quick, check on everything. Three of your domain provinces will suffer random effects. Um I I don't know. I don't know what happened. It didn't make us a sinner, though. Great. Okay, how, how long can we open them? Uh, every five years. Fine, another summer fair. Let's try and get proud or anything. Come on. Um, yeah, intellectual gathering. That seems fine as well. Let's do it. Execute them publicly. Yes, do that. 
It doesn't make doesn't doesn't matter. We're still we're still an incredibly good we're still an incredibly good Christ, Christian. We've opened Pandora's box. We've studied the Necronomicon. We've executed mass amounts of people. It doesn't matter. Nothing makes any sense. Oh my god, we can do this again. My god, you can do it more than once. I thought it was a one-off event. Oh, awesome. Um, let's invent another machine of war. This time, I would really like that gun, please, so I can shoot the Pope. Uh, In-game. In I need to point that out, please. Uh, NSA agents listening right now. I've got my window open as well, so I imagine my neighbors are really confused. Brilliant. This is so fucked. So they've not only turned it into a scholarship project, but they're all hating one another. The gathering is over. Yeah, what a shocker. Should have, should have trusted me. We should have built a gun. Okay, now I can't even shoot the Pope. Brilliant. Um, <laughs> hold another feast and keep hoping things go wrong. I mean, we could try and kill another man, but I, apparently that doesn't make us a sinner. This woman here. Let's intimidate her. Maybe that will... Hope my meaning is clear. Is there any chance of getting any traits? Nothing. Hope my meaning is clear. Yeah, there we go. Okay, do we... Do we, su we succeed? I have no clue. Um, okay, move on to the next one then. Let's move on to the next character. You, Harpy. Harpy, you are going to get, uh, let's get a private conversation, and then we shall seduce her. The seducer. They'll try and become her lover. She, she said no, for God's sake. Come on. How is she not a lustful, evil psychopath at this point? Why don't we just righteously imprison everyone, and then torture them? <gasps> I'm a genius. It's just a bit of torture that we needed. Oh, God, someone went into rebellion. Um, oh, my God, out of all those people, only one person went into rebellion. That's incredible. Now we torture them. Torture the vassals. If anything will drive her mad, it's that. Uh, torture him. We gain nothing. Mutilate him. Still nothing. Uh, come on. Unit blinded. Uh, specific, ex specific mutilation. Do we get anything from this? Nothing. Uh, specific execution. What about that then? Specific execution. We get, uh, burn him at the stake. This view to tyrannical. This option available because we're nothing still. <laughs> does not make any sense. Garden's finished. Hey, okay. Oh, it turns out the, the garden was upgraded long before we actually became, uh, long before the other garden was built. So never mind. Wait. Oh, we're at garden, garden, garden. Right. Okay. Here we go. Fountain of Youth. Right. What do we need for that? We just need the money, which I just sank into a new retinue consisting entirely of of horsemen instead. Never mind. Let's fight. Let's fight off this battle. By that time, this server chance I will have enough cash to be able to build our fancy little garden. Cynical. The Lord is dead. The Lord is dead. Right. Is that enough? Leave the Hermetic Society for God. Must be a sinner. What are we a sinner for? What, what have we sinned at? Is it cynical? Is cynical a sin? That explains so much. We're in. Hacker voice, we're in. How much time have we got? Not enough. Oh my god, exactly enough time. Okay. It's three years to get between each rank. We need to pass two ranks. That's six years. Then we have to also instantly... We might be able to skip a rank, actually, depending on how sinful we truly are. Now, all it, all it relies on is... The society offering us to join within our biological time limit we've got going on here. Yes, okay. Episcopus Himerios. Let me in. Let me in, chief. I'll keep it hidden. Thank you. You're truly a witch then. Can you help me win on the battlefield? So many so many heretics. The Lord must truly be dead. I agree. That makes perfect sense. We've done it. <laughs> Finally, we've been the devil on her ear all this time. And it's taken us years. She put up a hell of a fight. She put up a hell of a fight, but we've got her now. We've, we've got her. We've got her in our. We've got her in our midst. Okay, that's cool. And I don't feel so bad about you know taking this character off of her, off of her own little path that she's set on here because of the restrictions we put in place. Because of you know how long it actually took here. I think we put up a hell of a fight. Um, you know that guy we just went to war with and threw in prison. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna let him go. I'm just gonna let him go. Okay, this is gonna be very very close, but we might just just be able to pull it off. We're in, and unfortunately there are a lot of members of the the Satanic Society, which means. To uh, usurp the, the second, uh, to, to usurp the highest title, it's going to be very, very difficult at this stage. Um, all right, now we've just got to pray that we get enough points, which we're probably not. We've got high intrigue, but I mean, quick, mystic, greedy, that's all we've got. We're not much of a sinner. Hopefully over time it'll increase more and more. Then we get through Abjura rank, we get through Contra rank to Priestess, then we murder the High Priest to go through to High Priestess. Then in theory, we can Unholy Impregnate. But there is a chance, I believe, that we can get the mission to launch Unholy Impregnation at the level of Priestess. So we could potentially still do it earlier. It's going to be so close. We've got five years. But what a battle that was to try and corrupt her, though, huh? Years of... Years of, of, of feasts and and uh, the summer fairs, obviously. Tricking people in prison. Executing people. I mean, unfortunately, we did have righteous means to do so. So I guess that didn't corrupt her. Centering on uh, on a bad pilgrimage, which she wasn't affected by. And finally, what it took... what, what the, the final thing that broke the camel's back, weirdly enough, was the theology focus of all things. And then her becoming cynical. Unreal. 
Okay, she put up a hell of a fight, like I said, but I'm, I'm really glad we finally been able to do that. Seek his opinion. Seek, seek this man's opinion. Hey, uh, help me write this book better. I don't even remember what book we're writing anymore. Oh, I should, I should try and marry off some dynasty members as well. Um... Just so that we're staying on top of the whole dynasty breeding thing. So last case, worst case scenario is we don't want to focus too much on this. And then miss out on, you know, keeping our dynasty going here. So, did we not... I swear we set up a filter for this about ten times. Married, no. Diplo range, preferably. Join court, doesn't matter. We need to go great house. Mine. And then adult, preferably. We'll just do it for adults. And then we'll marry the kids off, I say, as they obviously become adults there. Save that as filter one. Okay. So let's get all of you guys just married off as soon as possible. Don't really care who you marry, as long as he's not a member of our dynasty, and as long as they are capable of having kids, obviously. Um, she'll do. There you go. Boom. You're welcome, my friend. Cyclops. Uh, she is 33, so arranged marriage. Let's go. What if we go with that button matrilineal? Um, kids with inheritable traits who aren't related to us, preferably. This guy will do. D Dif Difnarth. Is quick, shrewd. He's got a lot of good traits. Quick and shrewd. Hang on a minute. That's not right. Um, Harpy, same thing. I'm going I'm to quickly just go through all of them. Nice, there we go. The only one we can't marry off now is just Colossus. So, well, how's the density looking? Bear in mind, like, three episodes ago, we were almost we were almost wiped out. Now we're back up to 19. Hey, I'll take that. Probably helps out that we've obviously got a lot of branch houses going on in Iberia, too. Now we play the waiting game and, and trying to bide our time. Uh, see what we can do in regards to being just the evil shit. Every mission we'll accept and do whatever we can to succeed with that. The only other thing then is we need a little bit more gold so that we can make ourselves the Fountain of Youth. Or maybe even a couple of Fountain of Youths now. Rashid Garden, is this it? Rashid, Rashid Garden, excuse me, thank you. Uh, Fountain of Youth. Oh my god, we can actually build it. Holy shit, unlocks the drink from the Fountain of Youth decision. Music to my ears. We'll build another one as well because they might it might go on a... Provincial cooldown? No, it's probably a decision, isn't it? Might give us a decision twice. Don't think that's possible. Um, cool. Okay, nice work. So we obviously want to upgrade some of these aqueducts too at some stage. We've got a new one being built there. I think just build up some gold. I think try not to spend too much gold. Obviously, rebuilding the retinues has been fairly expensive, but they should be more or less fully reinforced. Yeah, they are now. So our money is just going to start stacking up and stacking up as more of these other... Great Wonders finished their construction too. So I'm going to start work on the contingency plan of continuing on with the contingency plan of if this character's time does run out, we have four more years. If her time does run out, we want to immediately have a second character ready to go. We're going to go for notable status of women after that full status of women. Flip over to Agnatic. Um, wait, is it is it Agnatic? Cognatic. Absolute Cognatic is what I meant. So that women are inherit, are inherit on the same ground. Men's do. We could go for that bloodline that allows us to get... Um, Cognatic preferred. Is it absolute anatic? I don't remember what it's called, but uh, so that women are preferred over men at that stage. That would be that'd be fine, but I mean, given that our daughter is the firstborn anyway, we got quite lucky with that. She should inherit before him regardless. So that's sort of giving us a safety net just in case this does fail. Measles. Measles, you coward. There is no chance that measles would ever stop her, and we've got a pretty decent core position anyway. It's another mystic, apparently. Um, can we recruit our daughter for Satan? That's the, that's the important thing. Oh, we can impart evil onto her. Of course. Of course, we can finally go back to all this shit that I've modded in. I should bring it closer to darkness. Um, so deceitful, arbitrary, what, what are the choices? she got some interesting choices here. Unfortunately, not uh, none of them are very good this time around. Oh, Ambitious is on there. Okay, that's fine. No chance of becoming a mystic or anything. Because again, the, the options that she will get are also semi-random. Um, okay. Let's hope she gets Ambitious then by the looks of it. Ambitious, lustful, nothing. Did, she, did it fail? Oh my god, I think... Oh, she got cynical. Cynical? Deceitful? Oh, she might have got ambitious. I actually don't remember. Um, should have already saw what... I should have checked what she had beforehand in hindsight. So, we could recruit for Satan. As I said last time, uh, possessing him with a demon won't guarantee that she'll join the Satanic Society, but does increase the chance by something like double, triple? I forget what I said. Um, but it, it, it will increase the chance by quite a lot. So, we'll wait until that stage rather than waste the waste the chance on it. We've just got to wait for Conjurer. Um, oh, Sacrifice Holy Person. Right, right. We absolutely need to focus on that as well. Are we close to being able to rank up? Almost. Well, almost, yeah. So, we're almost at three-year mark and... We've got 750. We were almost at 750 dark power, but we're running out of time here. Actually, no, we're, we're behind schedule. Um, give me a give me a holy person then. Surely a holy person's plotting here. You are. Get my prison. Wait, what? Tyrannical. He was plotting. Well, oh well. He'll have to <coughs> disappear. <laughs> Where is it? Uh, sent to a holy order. Take, sacrifice saying. Sorry, I couldn't find it. Doesn't count as a holy man. He was wearing a hat. That's enough. God damn it. Okay, a virgin saying. What about you? Are you being a dick? Nothing. Oh come on. There's got to be someone here. Uh, landed vassal who's also a priest. Uh, none of them. Okay, that's annoying. We'll have to try and, uh, kidnap someone. Okay, uh, let's go, let's go to our capital then. Let's go to... The Temple of Alexandria is still Aztec. That's so weird. Let's abduct this guy. I'm sure we can manage that. 
Oh no, the father of the family died last. Ah, but the marvel is gone. This also doesn't make sense. Like, sure, we'll join the Satanic Society because we want to be able to defeat our enemies or the heretics that have been popping up and ruining all of our many, many carousing adventures. And now she's gone from over the space of about a year or two from that to carving off a man's face, wearing it of the mask, kissing his wife and boiling baby. Apparently, um, we're getting ambitious though. Oh, and we get the blessings of Balbreath. Very nice. I'll take the tax to be able to fund more of my. Oh. We've got an Aztec peasant revolt in Alexandria. How weird. Um, oh, God. Uh, that, that could be a, that be, could be a problem there. Um, okay, let's bring... <laughs> let's run. Let's run. This could be a very big concern. Uh, Holy Orders, help me. 20 against Stevens, technical counts. Uh, help me. Robin Hood and your band of merry men. Um, oh, you know what? Just dogpile them then. We've got enough troops at that stage. Just pile on. They're only peasants. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, to be honest, that was massively overkill in hindsight. Second we get righteous imprisonment, I'm just going to chuck her in prison now. Unfortunately, Colossus Papier, our glorious son, was plotting to kill us. He was plotting to kill us. So now he is going to be... I hate how uncanny valley the faces are. Uh, is it just me? Or do these new face packs look worse than the default ones? Because it, it looks like they've taken a picture of someone's face and just stretched it over a character. Rather than like these ones, sure. I mean, especially the old school. Uh, I don't know if they still exist in game, do they? The, you remember the really old, crappy portraits? That's cool. Um... I don't think, yeah, I don't think they exist in game anymore. I think they've taken them out. But even those, uh, given how unrealistic un they look, look better than the weird, uncanny sort of waxwork figure we've got for this guy. I mean, it's, he's got to go. He's got to go. How dare you try and kill us, Colossus? No, nah, we wouldn't. We wouldn't do that. We'll just keep him in there in case. I mean, unless the, unless Satan asks, we'll, we'll keep him in there. Possible to rank up. Unfortunately, far too slowly. So in hindsight, that safety net might be the only way we can actually pull this off. Um, how old are we? 43. Yeah, it's impossible. It's now officially impossible. God damn this game. The restrictions are good because I think, again, it, it adds that such a high level of challenge. But we just got unlucky. We just got unlucky that not once were we offered a sin in all of her, however many years we've been playing as her. Um, we'll keep them in there until we can pass the law. Until we can pass the uh, full status of women. Then we'll corrupt our daughter, get her into the society. She can immediately carry on our work. Oh, for the love of God. O honestly, honestly. If if Erin as the second, our our daughter dies from this, I quit. This campaign is over because we cannot wait another generation to get this. Okay, you know what? It's fine. Don't don't panic. Don't panic. We've got the aqueducts. Okay, possessor. Let's let's do it. Come on. Let's, okay, but step one, possessor. Do it. No no no, not him. Possess possess her. Uh, also in parts of evil. Parts of evil onto her. Come on. What what you get? Nothing. I don't. I think it's broken. Don't worry about it. Do I actually possess her? Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Come on. Please succeed. Please. 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 Fuck! I actually think I just burst a blood vessel in my eye. Give me a minute. I hate this game. <coughs> I hate this game. Please make it stop. Fine, uh, fucking recruiter then. Recruit for Satan. What, she'll say no. She'll, she'll say no now and then we'll be back. Yeah, another generation. Disappointed. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. What? Bring from the fountain of youth. Do we even want to? Wait, what if it does knock some age off? Do it. I kneel beside the fountain in Rashid Garden and lower a cup into the water as I drink deeply. A tingling sensation spreads in my whole body. I'm left with an energy and vigor I haven't felt in years. The years fall off me as I drink. We actually do become two years younger. <gasps> suddenly. Suddenly. I was once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. I can drink again in ten years. Oh, that's rubbish. Um, <laughs> so we can basically get, if we drink from the fountain once every ten years, we could probably gain back like, maybe like six or so years. All right. We've gained two more years. This is possible now. It's actually genuinely possible once again. Sacrifice a holy man. We're still trying to adopt this fella. I've been righteously imprisoning every single person that's tried to plot against us. Not a single one of them is a bloody priest. Despite the fact we live in the realm of the priests. Um, I, I mean, I could just imprison him and sacrifice him. and That would fulfill it. But do we want to become tyrannical? Yes, we do. Yes. Yes, we do. I'm desperate, okay? We've, we've give, given a second chance. Let us embrace it. For Satan. I don't know if you heard that then. That was a bit of a weird... I'm sorry, I think I was screaming over the top of it, but... Um, that was a weird noise. I've never heard that death noise before. It was kind of a little bit like... <laughs> something like that. My prisoner, Tormarch's Bardos of Metho Methony, is contemplating, complaining... So probably contemplating as well as Dark Cell. The plague approaches. Good. 
You cannot stop us now. We have the Fountain of Youth. We have the Aqueduct sucking the life out of the people themselves. Uh, where? The plague approaches? Oh, well, it's miles away. What, do we have, like, a premonition or something? Oh, God, yeah, it, it do approach. Man, it do be like that. That's moving with some fucking haste. Uh, hospital. Hospital, then. Upgrades. Sick house, level two. Boom, do it. Get my, get my, uh, my, my steward. Overseeing construction. Speak to my man in China. My man in China, I need myself a, uh, oh, we already have a scholar bureaucrat. Send me a master engineer, too, then. Boom. Thank you. Aztec, so your door's finally open. Why did I even install this mod? I feel like we've done nothing with them all this time. <gasps> The Arch of Basila Erinez. Oh, it's good. It's uh, it's not that good. National Rocks minus 2.5%. Hang on. No, that is really powerful. Whoa. That's... Oh, hang on. Convert... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Convert county to coach. Faster court chaplain converts county. What? What? Do those stack? To turn them into about a thousand arches and suddenly everybody... We, it's mind control. No revolt risk and everybody converts. These are like the black obelisks, but better. Because we can also affect their mind and their culture and their people and their gods. This is so powerful. Holy shit. Um, hell yeah. Okay. I'm up for this. What happens if we upgrade it? Do we get... Oh, uh, yeah. Rank 2. Tells us, right? Um, gives us another... Whoa, whoa, whoa. It can't do... Whoa, what? If each level gives minus 2.5... It does. Minus 2.5% national revolt risk. That's broken as all fuck. National revolt risk barely goes above. Like, let's, let's take... What's the reddest province in the world right now for revolt risk? Probably like... I don't know. Let's take this one, for example. Look at the revolt risk on that. 11.5. That is arguably the worst province in the world for revolting right now. 13% up there. Uh, we've got 11% up there. With a fully upgraded one of these, granted, it still costs thousands of gold. But, but if you're a good merchant republic, like genuinely a good merchant republic at this stage, CK2 would have... I mean, they would make our gold look like Charles play right now. You would have almost no revolt risk whatsoever, even if you are the biggest worst ruler in the whole world. With highway robber bands, smugglers rings, peasant unrest, and an incompetent ruler. Even with all of that, you could cancel it out. Wow. Um, might need a little, might need a little jiggling with one of these, some of these wonders, huh? Maybe this is what wonders are supposed to be. I don't know if building a giant arch would make the people realize they might be a, they might be a shitty tyrant. But you know what? That's a fancy arch. Question is then, if we build a second. If we've got a second Fountain of Youth, will it let us drink from the Fountain of Youth more frequently? I don't think it will, because it probably just sets a global flag that gives us the decision to do this. I very much doubt they are unique, but there, there is a way to make them unique. I doubt they'd have done it, but I'm going to give it a go, just in case. Oh, yeah, I'll imprison more people. You offering? Get my prison, boy. Um, we're going to chuck as many people in prison as possible so that, you know, when they give us the event, it's like, hey, uh, sacrifice, uh, sacrifice a man whose name is Tony, and he's from... Droitwich, then we, we, you know, we've got a higher chance of actually being able to achieve that because we've already got a stocked up prison. Thank you all for watching. Let's leave this episode here for today. I almost, almost cracked. Almost cracked then. Almost lost my mind entirely. But the game, it, it threw me a bone. By which I mean years of meticulous planning and sinking thousands of gold into a garden with a fountain of youth has finally allowed us to, to gain back the, the advantage that the game itself refused to give us. Unreal. Thank you to those who have given the channel an advantage, a fighting chance in this in this dog-eat-dog -dog world that is 2019 video game playing on YouTube. And those people are the patrons at the highest of the high, the people who have gone above and beyond, the people who are, in truth, a little bit mad themselves. It's the insane top-tier level patrons, including Alchemia, Anthony Gullo, Sina Kurto, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Ben Hofflin, Chesty, Croesus, Donald, Doolin of Gondolin, Fukuna Vasquez, Gogolus, Harik, Harry McGowan, Iguana Squad, James Shea, Jonah Waters, Justin Wallace, Kanan Carter, Michael Muller, Muskratful, Nordstrass, Necrofilm, Pelvis Presley, Rodin, Scott, Skaz, Smegmastain, Somnus, Shea, Teabag Cruz, Tom Terror 18, Tyler Kendall, Tyler McLean, Vacuous Backus, Varagon, William Green, and Zazzy7011. Those who are the biggest and greatest supporters of, uh, obviously, my great work. <clears throat> I think I need someone working in PR. Thank you as well to Uwu Daddy, Astro, Anne in Person, Andrew Walsh, Andrew Wilson, Anchor, Attila, Austin Taylor, Best Wits Max, Best of Valorian, Black, Double H, Plug for the Blood God, Buen Gun, Chris, Corgi Circus, David Van Diepen, Don, Dunk Honey 2 and 7, Emerald Beam, Foosh, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerker, Gotham O'Grey, Haji Dumar, Icarus, I see the Great, I am Sagatair, Jackson P, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, Jose, Jeebus Cross, Joran DeVries, Jup's lucky sister, Jilly Vondel, Joseph here, Justin Plock, Justin Rules, Justin Walters, Luan and Thomas, Luke Wallace, Manuel Bostich, Mustolp, Monty, Mosey Sampson, my name isn't Dio, Nathan Flores, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Organized Confusion, Pan Sammy, Panthapel, Peyton Denisar, Russian Oligarch, Billionaire, Ryan Hooper, Sam Kears, Shardul, Smurtworm, Smooth Octopus, 
Socrates, Super Nanny 089, Sweet Sea Talad, The One Ring, Baragon, Fudu Mumbo, Void Prince Kibo, Will Wade, Wilson Atef, Wolfie, Yorkus, Yellow Four, Zach, and Zico 2. I think Varagon got on the list twice. Congratulations, Varagon. You are today's winner of being on the list twice. Thank you, all of you guys, for your support on Patreon as well. Makes the channel possible because it 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 it'd be hard otherwise. Let's put it I'm not allowed to say too much, but who who <laughs> hopefully you can get that's not an owl. I'm done. You know, I'm trying to imply, I'm trying to imply things without actually directly saying it. So then I can uh, you claim ignorance. Who? Did, did you get what I'm getting at? Anyway, bye.